But anyway, um, yes, we are doomed to end our matches on 23. We, um, but we're trying to change that. Trying to change our luck a little bit. And we'll see if that happens this round. Maybe this will be our lucky one or we'll die early and... Yeah. Uh, we'll both be completely humiliated and I am pausing a lot when I talk. I just realized I'm pausing quite a bit just because I'm in the middle of playing this. And, uh, Three bombs in a row. That's kind of a... Crazy. That's uh, lucky. Yeah. Much. But um, anyway, as you can see, we are close to making 7,500. And we'll um, definitely be... Uh, I've already got it. Going to upgrade very soon. Yeah. Don't try to stay in here too long. Oh oh There's the last match that we did. We stayed here a little bit too long and ended up turning on the power as fast as we right. could. And I'm going to get 7,500 real out. quick and then we're going to go running out of here as fast as we could. Although, we both ended up with over 10,000 points. Right. Here we go. This is what we do. After we get the 7,500, run through, link the teleporter, get Juggernaut while I link it. Anyway. I'm gonna link this real quick while he gets Juggernaut. He'll guard the teleporter till I get back. Or keep the area clear at least. And then we're both gonna go up. Usually get Mustang and Sally just because it owns completely blowing up zombies and raping people. And uh Okay, go. So that was a little close right. right there. Yeah, um, like I said, we're not pros, but I'm going to upgrade the pistol that you start out with. Believe it or not, some people have played zombies forever and still don't know that the pistol turns into a dual explosion-making massacre. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't talk while I play, and um, that's one of the main problems with this commentary. After we make a few more commentaries, I'm sure this won't be our last. Um, I'll get the hang of this, so I apologize for my monotone, serious voice and uh, poor gameplay, but this, you know, <laughs> this, this is just starting out somewhere, trying out for fun, trying out commentaries, but um, trying to get a little bit of fun here. Okay, now he's going to be using the rape train method in the front room, and I'm running around to the stage where the syndicate usually does his solo version. Hopefully, I don't encounter any guys on this. And as you pad. can see, I am wasting a ton of ammo. I'm like, oh my gosh, explosions everywhere! Just you know, there's a baby, baby zombie crawling across the floor, and uh, for some reason, my brain tells me it takes ten grenades to kill that one baby. But um. That's not the case. Uh, looks like we have a crawler from when we upgraded. So what we're going to do now is run around and try to figure out something we need to get done, which we don't seem to at the moment. So if you want to, we can go ahead and start the next round and show them the rape train method. Okay. Go to The Syndicate Project. Look up The Syndicate Project on YouTube. Okay. That guy is... He plays for Machinima, no glitching, legitly, kid you not, he has made it to level 75 by himself. Oh, looks so, like puppies. So, look this guy up, he's the one who, uh, I mean, I don't think he discovered the rape train method, but he definitely, um, perfected it, yes. That's the word for it. So good that he's making money off it, and, uh, definitely reason that we have learned some of our stuff on here. Thank you, Syndicate. As you can see, I'm letting the dogs get a little close, a little too close yeah, for my thing and Sally, but, you know, I'm trying to kick it easy and not more than one or two shots at a time because I have completely raped myself more than once doing that, but, um, 
Anyway. Yeah, they run about as fast as you sprinting, so you kind of have to sprint out a bunch and then turn around and shoot as fast as you can. Okay, the rape train method, how it works is you gather the zombies into as big of a group as you can and then kill them with least ammo possible. So we both have Mustang and Sally. That won't be too hard. What we are going to do is we run in a specific pattern where you can still dodge them but group them up and after a certain point it'll stop spawning the zombies in the group behind you and after you kill the group it'll continue them. But yeah. um, anyway, look up the Syndicate Project. What you will see is the exact same thing that Mickey D's is doing on the top screen here. He uses the main stage mainly. <laughs> main stage mainly, lol. But um, anyway, yeah, that's the thing he uses. The bottom screen, full 45, that's the one that I made up. I made up this pattern, which it isn't hard. All you need is an open area. And um, since we're on co-op, we can't both use the main stage, of course, because the zombies would be like, oh, which one do I want? How about both of them? And then we both get raped completely because it would disorient everyone and uh, completely uh, split the group up, go in all different directions, we both start screaming like little girls, and get gang banged by a ton of zombies. Okay, so as you can see at the top screen, uh, there's no more zombies coming towards me, so that notifies me that I've got a group that, oh wait, there's one, since he killed some, but they're running towards him. Uh, there's really no more zombies coming towards me. Except for those two, for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so now my group is pretty much full. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprint across and then shoot them. See how easy that was? Super Woo easy. Right, I'm just yeah. going to go ahead and shoot those crawlers because I don't want crawlers crawling around everywhere. There's one more. Now, usually the hardest part about this circle thing. This method right here is that you have to have Juggernaut, or else you're not going to uh, make it. And uh, right when the wave starts, or if you shoot them all at the same time, that's when it's the hardest because they all spawn at once almost, and they're coming from all directions, and it's hard to dodge them. So once you get to the higher levels, if you can, don't kill them all at once. It'll, it'll usually take like three shots or something to kill them. To kill the entire group once you get up to level like 18. Yeah, but as you can tell, this is going to be a very long, strung out video. So what we'll probably do is we will most likely cut this up into separate parts. Which we'll have to to put it all on YouTube anyway. But um, not like you guys are going to watch all of it anyway. But still... If you're new to Nazi Hello. Zombies, if you're Hello. new to it, you know, uh, I feel like our method could help you out a little bit. I mean, we're not the Syndicate. The Syndicate is, you know, like, God of Nazi Zombies, basically. He's, uh, you know, number one in the world that I know of as a personal record. I think there's one other guy that got close, but um, we don't talk about him because... Uh, we don't know who he is. Apparently he's not as good a syndicate because he's not as big on it. But anyway, once again, go to YouTube and look up The Syndicate Project. Kid is from, uh, what, what country is he from? Uh, he, he has a very thick accent. I personally enjoy him talking a lot, just like your mom. Bad joke, I make those a lot. But anyway, um, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm running in a circle just continually, if you could figure that out an hour ago when I first started doing it repeatedly. And uh, what I try to do is I try to look ahead, see where the zombies are coming from, and kind of time where I'm going to run and win so I don't get cut off, sandwiched, and eaten. And uh, usually whenever, you know, see i got a decent group built up right here, run up these stairs a little bit bullets, that's all it really takes, and 9 times out of 10 you'll get a bonus, like 2 times max ammo or something, but 